Hey Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus uh, for March. Um, keep in mind, energy is fluid, so this may have already happened. It may be happening or it may not manifest in your life um, now, uh, anywhere between now and the next three months. It really just depends on where you're at on your spiritual journey. But we're going to take a look at what's going on in your current life situation. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, if at any time this reading resonates with you, please like. And also, if you're interested in a personal reading, there are links in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get started with my prayer, my blessing, and see what messages Spirit has for you. Mother, Father, God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages in regards to Sagittarius and their current life journey and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception into what karmic cycles and soul lessons they may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray. Amen. You're trying to get to something, Sagittarius. That's what I keep seeing. Um, it's a really, really interesting vision. So let me see if I can figure this out. What they're showing me is like, there's a clear, like almost saran wrap, but more um, rubbery and you're running against it and you're getting pretty far, but the restraint, it's like, so you can see everything clearly. You're trying to get to something, it's right in front of you. You know what it is that you want. It's like you've tried to, to do this over and over. For some of you, this could be like breaking a habit or changing something. Like you've tried this over and over. It could be a relationship, but you're never quite, you can see the finish line, but you never, you never quite get there. You always get ricocheted all the way back. That's what Spirit's showing me. There's a blockage that's coming from within you is what I'm being told. That saran wrap, that's from within you. It's your own like fears. It's your own stress. You create a blockage. You have judication. Main female. Poverty and mature man. You also have wealthy man here too and false person. All right, Sag, let's see here. There's some type of official situation. Like, I don't know if you're dealing with court papers, court paperwork or something to, or it could even like be um, just something to do with the government, maybe even like taxes or con something you're waiting on. It it's having to do with either yourself or the main person in your life, possibly another female that you've been dealing with. This may not resonate with everybody before we get into tarot and that's okay, but there is a woman involved. And it has to do with money. I don't know. Some of you taking your money. Some of you, this may have to do with child support. Okay. But I see you being mature about it. Okay. I do feel like this has to do with money. It could be family. Maybe someone passed away and there is some type of money coming in. That's what I'm seeing as well. Um, but there, there is... An energy here of somebody who's lacking. They don't have anything. They're, you know, this poverty card. So I, and for some reason, when I'm saying child support, this is a specific message. But there could be a family here who's living way beneath their means. And there's some type of legal issues going on between 
finances or money. Okay, that's that's what I'm seeing. Holy Spirit, clarify, please. They're Sagittarius. You have the Page of Wands as the main energy of the current situation. Judgment. Yeah, you're waiting for a decision on something. or And you're becoming aware of something. Three of Wands as the outside energy. Five of Wands as your challenge. There's a lot of conflict around you right now. You have the Two of Swords as the next steps of action. You're just cutting people out left and right, Sag. And then you have the Tower. Okay. Overall energy on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this has to do with family or money. Some type of investment, some type of... Um, Child support again, I see it. But it has to do with financial stability, could even be with where you're you're living. Um, <clears throat> or somebody feeling like the other person got more ten of cups. So does this have to do with a marriage or you know, you're dealing with an issue with the, the person you have children with? Okay, or just in your family, there's issues. For some of you, this could be an argument about like will or, you know, someone's estate. I'm seeing that as well. But overall, what Spirit is showing me is that it's all, this is all good. Like the overall energy and what this is getting you to is to an extreme place of alignment you have cups and pentacles as above, so below. Emotions, emotional health and financial health, material wealth. Very aligned. Very aligned, okay? It is coming in. I don't. You just don't see it yet, but it is. Current energy is a page of wands. There's, there's an idea. There's something that you want to do. You, 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 there's something that you want to take action on. You may have already started the steps to take action on this, but it's just like a little spark of an idea right now. I feel like it hasn't really been grounded. You may have an offer. Somebody's offering you something. Yeah, six of wands, okay? Uh, but you haven't, yeah, it's not... Mm, So you have the Six of Wands and the Page of Wands. There's an offer here that looks really good that could be very beneficial for you. That would have you feel like you're winning, right? This is a big step for you. That's what I'm seeing. But what's interesting, although this would be good for you, there's this energy down here with the Five of Swords and the Two of Cups. I don't feel like this energy has to do with a love relationship, but on the bottom, you you have love showing up. So, but you're not communicating. So there seems to be some type of distance or hurtful communication, arguments, disagreements, manipulation, not good energy. Big changes taking place in a, a connection. You, you may not even be talking to this person right now, or they don't like this offer. But you have to do what's best for you, and I think that that's bothering some people. Okay. We have judgment as your current energy. Yeah. This is the difficult part about, like, growth and evolving is I feel like you are awakening to certain things within your life or people's position. Like, okay, is this good for me? Is this what I need? Is this who should be in my life? I see you reconciling your differences as well with others. Um, but I also see you cutting people out. Clarify judgment, please. Clarify judgment. Yep. 
Yeah, you have the world. <laughs> it's interesting because what I'm seeing from you, Sagittarius, it's like you you give people a lot of chances. You do. But I feel like with this particular situation, you want to close out a cycle because you really want to move into something different. Okay? There's something that you really want to experience, but you're still a little hesitant about it. It's fears. Remember I said you're like running to something and then you pull back and then you're running to something and then you pull back. That's what this Page of Cups and the Eight of Swords is. You want to experience something. You want to do something, but you're, you're hesitant about it. It's making an offer to somebody or on something. Could even be work-related, commitment-related. You have the sun as well. So, but in order to move into that direction of alignment, which you are, you are moving into that direction. You are going to get to this Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. You, you are. I kind of feel like you're there. You just, and, and you know you're there, but the reason why you can't fully integrate into it is because there's still some fears that you're working through. And you're becoming aware of that, and I see you, you're trying to close out cycles and get everything in order is what I see you doing. You're planning for the future. Clarify the three of wands. So there's still patience. It's like you may want things to happen a little bit quicker, but they're not. Clarify three of wands. The knight of swords. Yeah, there's an offer coming in. It's, it's tied to emotions and it, it's the same thing. Pentacles, cups. Okay, so a lot of earth and water here, but it's, it's, you know, it's stability, it's stable emotions, stable money. Knight of Swords, though. Hmm. I feel like somebody comes in, it's the same energy. This is the outside energy is running, get pulled back. Because the Knight of Swords is like, charging in as fast as it can go and then the three of wands is like oh we can't go any further we're gonna fall off the cliff so we need to stop and wait and figure it out so it's the same type of energy this is about you really committing to something within your emotions and your your long-term commitment i feel You've been planning this for quite some time. You're almost ready to hop on the ship. That's what I'm seeing. Your challenge, though, is the five of wands. For how peaceful you're feeling inside, I mean, I know that you're nervous about this, this decision, this choice, but you feel peaceful about it. Like, you don't mind taking your time, right? You don't mind taking your time. But it's interesting because the five of wands, so you have conflict around you. Or you have a lot going on. There's people that have a lot to say about, about your business, Sagittarius. Or there's other competition or other things that are really getting in the way. And, and, and maybe those, those challenges, those conflicts, those differences of opinion and other people being in your business, maybe that is the saran wrap. Clarify the five of wands, please. For the challenge. Two of Cups. Wow. It's about a love connection, Sag. Four of Cups. That you're hesitant about. You don't know what to do. Your challenge is fighting in a connection. Not seeing eye to eye. I feel like you really like this person. It's a deep connection. You There's... Are you trying to find something wrong with somebody when there's nothing wrong with them? I mean, not that there's a perfect person, but that's almost what this feels like.
It's just that you've been through a lot and I don't know if you're ready for this. That's how you feel. I don't think you think you're ready for it because there's other things. It's like it, it clashes with what else you have going on. That's what I'm seeing. Like I said, you have this offer, right? Let's go back to the beginning. You have this really good offer. You want to go somewhere. I see you traveling. You might want to move somewhere. It's for you. It's what you want to do. But I think it causes conflict in a love connection. Clarify the two of swords, please. I see you unable to make a decision. And it, and it has to do with you. You are a good person. You're not wanting to hurt other people's feelings here. So you're just needing to time out. You might not be talking to, to, to people. You might kind of close out for a minute to figure this out. Because I see you just needing peace and silence. Two of swords with the hierophant. Yeah, you're like, I just need to connect. This is a big decision. It has to do with either commitment, marriage, some long-term stability. It's like setting a foundation. You're seeing something from a higher perception. but you're blocked from it as well. Some of you are like, no to commitment, <laughs> but you want it. That's Taurus energy there. Or you may feel blocked from being able to have a very truthful, honest discussion. keep hearing silence but it's not really silent Sagittarius it's like you have something to say there's something like I that's what it is and then you have the tower moment you're wow you're about to surprise some people Sagittarius nobody's you're nobody's listening to you or nobody wants to hear what you have to say and I feel like you're about to just hold your hand up and make a judgment call and say boom like this is what I'm doing and it's what it is you have the tower as your outcome. So there is a tower moment coming in. Spirit is showing me that initially this is going to be shocking to you. And see, I stopped on the Ace of Pentacles. Initially, this tower is going to be shocking. It's dark and there's lightning. However, it's resulting in this Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. And I feel like if you can keep that energy moving in, clarify the tower, please. Clarify the tower. Oops, what do we have? Oh, wow. Massive transformation. Yeah. The tower is bringing in the death card and the page of swords, a transformation in what it is that you've been observing, right? Because you have the page. It's the saran wrap. It removes. <laughs> the saran wrap moves and you step into your power here, Sag, with the king of wands. You take action on what it is. A big transformation. There may be things that you have to end you know, in order for you to get this alignment, in order for you to get this Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. It's interesting because it, it is what I see up here. Adjudication, main female, poverty, mature man, and then you have wealthy man. So it's like you have to go through this ebb before you can get to the flow. Um, something had to fall apart here, but it's, it's because it's causing a transformation within yourself. That saran wrap is going to come off and you're going to know exactly where and what you need to do. You need to pause though for a moment with this two of swords. Just take a break for a, a moment and connect to the higher power. Connect to God, call him in, you know, ask him to lead you and guide you and to show you in ways that you'll fully be able to see and know our messages and signs for you. You know, get specific with him. Have a relationship with him. 
because you're on your way to a really stable, joyful time. I think you're just scared of going through that darkness for a moment, that tower. It's going to be okay. There's a rainbow at the end.